Hey fam and welcome back to part number two of the number one predictor of how to determine how your relationship or if your relationship will actually last. And when we talked about that yesterday, we heard and found out that the number one predictor to find out if your relationship will last is how you guys argue. And now we and then we talked about the four horsemen, which are criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and um, stonewalling. All right, so for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Marshawn, and I'm a life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they have only dreamed about having. And so now today we're going to talk about the antidote to each one of the four horsemen. Again, the antidote to them. So again, criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. Let's start with Criticism and all of this information is from dr. Gottman. So these are not mine at all I want to make sure that I pay homage to dr. Gottman So the antidote to criticism is to complain without blame by using a soft gentle Startup avoid saying you which can indicate blame and instead talk about your feelings using I statements and express what you need in a positive way to put it simply Think of these two things to formulate your soft startup. What do I feel and what do I need? So that's the antidote. Go in there kind of soft and then ask yourself two, quest two questions before you go in. What do I feel and what do I need? That is how you get away, of cr away from criticism as well as using I statements instead of you statements because again, you statements feel like you are blaming the other person versus taking responsibility for the way that you feel as the person who heard this very thing. Because now let's move on to contempt. The antidote to contempt is to build a culture of appreciation and respect in your relationship and there are and there are a few ways to do that the first one is to focus on the small things we always talk about gratitude or at least you hear about gratitude all the time focus on the small things it's not necessarily the big things that are going to carry your relationship through focus on the small things the second thing is the five to one ratio of positive versus negative experiences now don't think that your relationship are never going to go through ups and downs and have these negative things to come into play within your relationship. That's just unrealistic to think about. However, what you want to do and what you're trying to strive towards is having five positive experiences to every one negative experience. That way you will absolutely feel like you're in a really good relationship. Yes, you guys disagree. Yes, you guys argue, but you know how to argue. You argue effectively. And what did we say the number one predictor is when you're determined to stay together is how you guys argue, right? So I want to drive that point home. So you're going to have negative experiences, but you want them to be a lot less frequent than the positive ones, which is where the five to one ratio comes into play, okay? Again, just to make sure that you guys are following along, we are on contempt and the antidote here works so well because it, it expresses understanding right off the bat. Okay, now we're going to move on to defensiveness and the antidote for defensiveness. Right. So the antidote for defensiveness is to just accept responsibility, even if it's just responsibility for the part, the small part, the large part that you actually play into why the conversation went way down here. Just take responsibility for it. You don't have to be. You don't have to be defensive if you're taking responsibility. Those two cannot live in the same sentence. Some people will try, but but, but they don't work. They don't work together, right? You can't take responsibility for your actions, what actually happened, what you actually did, and be defensive at the same time. Don't work, because what you're actually saying is that the problem is not me. It's you, right? That's what you're saying. When you're, be, when you're being defensive, the problem isn't me. The problem is you. And as a result, the problem is not resolved and the conflict actually escalates further. So we want to get rid of all this stuff, which is why we're talking about the antidotes to all of these things, right? Don't want these things just floating around. Yes, this happens, but this is how to get rid of them in your relationship. So now the fourth one, which is stonewalling. Let's talk about the antidote to stonewalling. 
So the antidote to stonewalling is to practice physiological self-soothing. And the first step of self-soothing is to stop the conflict discussion, call a time out. So when you call a time out, that's actually meaning that you are taking a break. And when you take a break, you want the break to last at least 20 minutes because it will take at least 20 minutes for your body's physiological state to calm down. It's crucial that during this time you avoid thoughts of righteous indignation. Like, I don't have to take this anymore. And innocent victimhood. Like, why is he always picking on me? Spend your time doing something soothing and distracting. Like listening to music, reading a book, or even exercising. It doesn't, matter, it doesn't really matter what you do in this time. As long as you are calming yourself down again you're bringing your physiological state down so ladies and gentlemen these are the four areas the four horsemen as dr gottman likes to call them in your relationship when you're having an argument this is what's actually happening this is how to determine if your relationship will last or not so if you have criticism if you have contempt if you are defensive or even if you are a stone waller, you need to get rid of all of those things. Because as I already mentioned today and yesterday, it's not going to help your relationship at all. We talked about what they were yesterday. Today, we're talking about how to actually get rid of those things. Because as soon as you get rid of these things in your relationship, you will absolutely see a huge difference in the way that you guys Feel about each other in the way that you guys actually communicate with each other. You'll be a lot happier together. You won't feel like, oh my God, am I going home to this person? And you absolutely won't have that feeling of, I married this person? <laughs> like, or wanting to go smack them upside the head. Now, y'all know I do not condone domestic violence or any type of violence, but sometimes you do feel that way. You do. You be wanting to punch them out. You be wanting to lay their butts out, just like somebody out in the street, right? But because they are your spouse, they are a different person. You put them in a different category, and you treat them differently. And so if you want your relationship to last, get rid of these four things that are really, really, really tearing down your chances of staying together, and especially in a happy romantic relationship so i hope that you guys are taking all of these things into consideration definitely think about them start to implement these things into your relationship or at least getting them out of your relationship because as my shirt says knowledge is power but applied knowledge is better i will see you guys in the next video deuces